Hey there, everybody. It's RevKev. Welcome to the Geek Corner channel. So it dropped. I wasn't expecting this today. I know a bunch of people were rumoring that it would, and they were right. Uh, Book of Boba Fett trailer for the new Star Wars series streaming on Disney+, Plus, which begins streaming right at the end of the year, December the 29th. Um, the trailer dropped. Um, so let's check it out. I'm gonna, it's not gonna be like a full reaction. I'm not just gonna play it and react to it. I'm gonna stop and comment. I've, I've actually already watched it, so it's not a, 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 a cold run. It's not like my first reaction here. I've already given this a lot of thought as I've gone through this. Um, first and foremost, I, I think my biggest problem with Star Wars and the direction of what they're doing, I mean, I've got a lot of problems with it, but the reason why I'm just not getting excited about anything that's being released is what I've talked about many times before here on my channel is every road is still leading to the sequel trilogy that everything that they're doing now in between this period between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens I have no interest in what they do in this time period because of how it ends this is just the way i roll i know the ending so you can come up with this really cool stuff in between but i still despise what they did with han solo i despise what they did with luke skywalker i despise what they did with princess leia and, and how they just wrecked everything that's gone before so i can't get excited about these things that are being done here in between because as we've said all roads lead to the rise of skywalker and that train wreck so until there's evidence that there's things that are going to change with that sequel trilogy I, I just have no interest in any of this so that that's the hard part is you kind of go through this so let's just check some of this out just some of the things that i, I kind of picked up on here and wanted to comment on you know first and foremost here you got one of these you know monk spider robots here um and even that scene just right off the, the get-go bugged me um again it's always these going after the nostalgia feel things like that um and it just walks too fast <laughs> i don't know why this bugs me so much but i just remember the one that from return of the jedi and it was just kind of slow and creepy coming up behind c-3po when they were coming into jabba's palace and this one just kind of skittering across just i don't know, it just bugged me I, I didn't like the feel of that looks like we got some pit droids in there <laughs> i liked pit droids from <laughs> episode one to be honest i thought they were funny and a pretty cool design now here's another thing that uh, again is nitpicking i get it it's nitpicking but it's too clean i find these scenes here it's so crisp and it's so bright like even jabba's throne room here Everything about it is just clean and crisp and bright. And for me, that makes it not feel Star Wars-y. It, it's too clean. It's too sharp. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's... I'm just showing my age a little bit there. But uh, it needs to be dirtier and grimier. Yeah. No, I get it. Tatooine is bright when you got two suns. When you're outdoors, it should be bright. But the indoors should be dark and gritty and you know, gray. And... Now, these guys here get a better shot. Um, love the look of this scene. It was kind of cool seeing familiar aliens in here. Um, the aliens that we were used to seeing in Jabba's Palace. So we're getting this building up of this criminal underworld that Boba Fett's taking over. Um but again, it's just kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I can't even describe it. Tusken Raiders. Oh, there, I wanted to try to get this shot here of the Tusken Raiders. Um, can I get a good shot of them here? Uh, so my guess is, again, when you zoom in on these faces here, when you look in really close, they're 
not regular Tuscan Raiders. They, they, they look different. The eyes are different. Um, there's slight modifications on them here. So maybe they're people dressed up as Tuscan Raiders. I don't know, but they, again, they just, um, come across as a little off. So they're not, again, I get, I get it. I'm nitpicking. It's, it's what I do. It's my channel. I nitpick movies. <laughs> it's what it, it makes it fun for me, you know? And, uh, who's the next thing? Slave One. Oh, is it still the Slave One? I don't know if we call it that anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, again, here you got all these aliens and they're trying to make these deals and what just prevents us from killing you and just taking over for ourselves. And, uh, uh, Again, some of these things are, I don't know. See, and so the cut here is trying to make you feel like this is all the same scene, but this is obviously a different scene because now they're not sitting at the table. So that person who sp spoke, why can't we just kill you? And then uh, Fennec Shan saying, well, if you spoke of such insolence to Jabba, it's a different scene. It's not the same because they're not in the same place anymore. <laughs> um, see, that kind of stuff bugs me when they do that. But anyways... <laughs> Speak freely. Yeah, so he's saying, yeah, speak freely. In other words, I am going to feed you to my menagerie. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I it, I just find this entire trailer just very underwhelming, to be honest. Like, it's, uh, one, it, it, it's too crisp. It's too clean. It, it, it just, I, it just doesn't feel Star Warsy to me, and and I love criminal underworld stuff uh, of Star Wars. Like a, <laughs> even as a pastor, I, I like bad guys. I like good bad guys, and I mean that's one of the reasons why I you know picked up the Star Wars the role playing game Edge of the Empire. This is set during the criminal underworld part of the original Star Wars prequel series. Uh, uh, not the prequel, the original trilogy, and playing as bounty hunters and smugglers and thieves and, and crime lords and playing role-playing games. So I love that part of Star Wars. But because, again, it's in that interim period between the originals and the sequels, I just cannot get excited about this. I... We'll see if more stuff comes out between now and December that changes my mind about it, but this looks pretty bland. Um, yeah, that's just my initial thought from this trailer. I would have loved to have seen a trailer with a little bit more punch, um, something to get me a little bit more excited about it, but maybe that's just the state of my heart when it comes to Star Wars stuff. Um, again, in that timeline, just not interested. I've got lots of books back here that I can read <laughs> from that period of time, which are very interesting and I enjoy a lot more than what's coming out now. So... Um, anyways, that's just my thoughts on it. Would love to know what you think of the Book of Boba Fett trailer down in the comment section below. And as always, I so appreciate each and every one of you who are part of the community here. Thank you for my members. It really means a lot to me that you're a member here. And until the next video, God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.